going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us today. Get your favorite drink, join us around the table, and remember to call those prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. It's always right here behind my head on a full shot and always periodically across the bottom of the screen, so you'll have a chance to jot it down if you just missed it, okay? But 307-637-PRAY, that's 7729. You are anonymous, you can call, feel safe, and get your breakthrough, okay? We love praying for people. We go to heaven with great faith for you. And I'll tell you, God's been doing great things. So I'd say, hop on the choo-choo train and call the prayer line. Yeah. So anyways, God loves you, and so do we. I'm Charlene back to Mary, and you God's view host. We have Stephanie Beth, have Priscilla Pruitt, we have Lana Garner, and back with us again, Rhoda. Rhoda, Rhoda Faye Deal, she has been just uh, uh, phenomenal. She's been doing a great job, fits right in. This is her book, The Jericho Fast Man. You want to get it. So easy, and if you, you know, you, you go along each day with the fast, so it's very simple. She has mm -hmm. sold thousands of copies, I mean thousands of copies already. And so you want to get yours, Amazon.com, and you can go to RhodaFayDeal.com. And you see it's D-I-E-H-L, okay, not like D-E-A-L, D-I-E-H-L. So RhodaFayDeal.com. Have her in to preach. And uh, she uh, travels all over and preaches, and sh you would be uh, blessed to have her in, okay? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So today, the, uh, the message, I mean the topic, is... Um, transition. Transition, but it's what... Uh, seasons of seasons transition. Seasons of transition. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, and, you know, anybody can go. Anybody can go. I got all kinds of stuff on that too, but whatever. Well, transition means the process or a period of changing from one state or condition into another. And so many people are afraid of change and, and therefore when God is calling them to change, they kind of fight it. And I get it, it can be very scary. Um, it's easier for us to stay in our comfort zone and to stay in what we know and what feels safe. But when you realize what you could be missing out, something that God has so much greater for you that, that could blow your mind if you think about what he has is so much greater, yeah. I'm, I'm being redundant, but what I'm trying to say is basically, mm -hmm. if you let go of your thoughts and your fears and your security and you step into faith and you realize that what God has for you is so much greater than yeah. you could ever possibly think or imagine, it's actually beautiful. Now a little while ago, actually that's almost two years ago, um, God moved us. He was starting to shift everything and move, moving us out of our comfort zone and teaching us about something that he had for us. And I remember Charlene had a dream that we were moving to Texas and she called me and she's like, are you moving to Texas? And I said, no, I am not moving to Texas. What are you talking about? I don't like Texas. It's too hot. I live there. And, oh, I did it. I know. It's too hot for me. And then Stephanie said she had a dream about us moving to Texas. And she had a dream. And months before that, um, like four months before that, my friend Amanda had a dream, and she had a very vivid dream of a home that we lived in in Texas with these big gates and big trees, and it was real green, and she went into full detail in it. <laughs> and then my husband, you know, he, we mm. were... We were about to give birth to this um, ministry. God was doing something in us, and we didn't know what it was, but we knew we were feeling a shift and change. We were in like a homeless ministry then, and God was changing things, and our hearts were changing towards something else, and we didn't know what. So we were asking God, Lord, what's our next steps? What are we supposed to do? And so that night, Sean was really perplexed, and I remember he went to go see our friend Scott Neri, who was teaching, uh, preaching at a church for Kavika. And... Um, he goes there and he's listening to Scott Neri and Scott Neri stops in the middle of his, his preaching and points at Sean and says, I have to stop and tell you this because the Lord deep won't stop playing this song over you. He says, I keep hearing the song deep in the heart of Texas playing <laughs> over you. I, I and he just keeps playing <laughs> deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> and so he gives Sean this amazing word and saying that God is springing up old wells and he's moving mm -hmm. you. He's going to take you guys and put you in Texas. And um, he, mm -hmm. it was amazing. And so we, he comes home, he tells me this. And I said, okay. I guess, God, you're moving me back to where I don't want to go. <laughs> yeah. But 
But even though I Thank was you, upset because I thought it was going to be the same old, I thought it was going to be back to where we were in Texas, but I was open to anything God had for me. Yeah. It was scary because mm -hmm. I was like, God, every time I go visit my family <clears throat> in Texas, there is so much traffic. I don't want to sit in traffic. It is so hot. I don't like the heat. Oh, but I was open, even though it's scary yeah. and it's changed and it's uncomfortable. I was open and just being open to it, God showed me that there was places I didn't know about in Texas where mm -hmm. the weather is nicer, where it is cooler, 10 to 15 degrees cooler. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And it's green and lush and big trees. And it was everything I ever wanted. And when wow. he moved us there, he opened up this whole way for us to start a prison ministry. But had I stayed in my comfort zone mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. things were getting super uncomfortable and he has to make it uncomfortable yeah. for you to sometimes mm -hmm. get out of That's there. True. He was, he was birthing something mm -hmm. in me. And it's just like when you're in labor pains, it gets super uncomfortable until you're like, get the baby out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so God is birthing something and making you uncomfortable because he wants to move you into that, that change that he has for you. Right. That's something better. And so we moved into this home and we love it. It's beautiful mm -hmm. out there. But the greatest thing that's happened out there is that we are discovering new things about us. We're not next, right next to our family, even though we do have family in Texas. We're still mm -hmm. like five and a half mm -hmm. hours away. We're getting to know each other more. All we have is one another. We don't have family out there. We don't have a lot of friends out there. We're meeting new people. We're starting new ministries. Mm. Um, it's just exciting. Yeah. And that's the thing is that change may be yeah. scary, but it's fear that tries to keep you there. Right. But right. faith is exciting. There's joy with faith. Right. There's so much more that God has for you. And I just encourage you to ask the Lord, what is this that I'm feeling stagnant? Mm -hmm. What is this fear that I'm feeling? What is this transitional ch uh, stage that I'm feeling coming up? Ask him and he will show you and he's going to take you to something greater and better than you could ever hope for or imagine. Right. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, in Proverbs 16, 9, it says that while we may make our plans, God orchestrates our steps. Mm -hmm. And I love that because transition is that and it's, a, it's mm -hmm. change. And also in that transition, we have to realize that our lives are really not our own. When we know the Lord, um, like like the Word says, we move forward in what we see. We make mm -hmm. those plans because we need to. We need to use wisdom yep. and set goals. But all along the way, as we seek Him, He opens up those doors for the tra in the transition in the hallway. I like to say, you one door opens, you walk through, and that begins to shut, and you're in yeah. the hallway in a transition That's good. until the new <laughs> door opens up, and then you walk through that. And it continues all through your life until we transition into mm -hmm. heaven. Mm -hmm. But I love that because it's a reminder in the hallway, like, God, here I am. What do you have for me? I don't even know, but I'm running this race to win. It says mm -hmm. to run the race for the Lord, with the Lord, to win. And so when you're in that hallway, don't stop. That's something that, that you've, I've done it before out of fear, is I've stood in the hallway far too long. Because I'm like, God, what do you have on the other side of that door? Do I want to go through? It's scary. And will it be like the last season or is it going to be? But then once you move forward, he's like, here's the keys to the kingdom. Yes. Out of obedience, mm -hmm. out of yeah. seeking mm -hmm. me, that transition went from what you thought might be too big or too scary or yeah. um, hurt or mm -hmm. whatever that is. But you move through and he hands you the keys to the kingdom. And I love that about him. Mm -hmm. um, and I always remind myself in a transition time where I'm just kind of wondering, it's like, this is only a season. Yeah. This is a season yep. of transition. Mm -hmm. This isn't only forever. So I need to mm -hmm. cast my cares on the Lord because he cares for me. Yes. And then I go to the word and I love this scripture. It's one that we know. But Isaiah 43, 19 says, behold. I will do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way yes. in the wilderness and yes. rivers in the desert. And what I love about that is you are walking, like I said, you walk through a door and it begins to close because God is transitioning, transitioning you into a new season That's and a right. new uh, ministry even, a new calling, mm -hmm. whatever that is, or he's adding to it. So as you're moving forward, you, you start to feel the joy of the Lord. Because it's beginning to rise up in your spirit, beginning to spring forth, even mm -hmm. though you don't know the outcome yet. Mm -hmm. And then you walk through the door, you leave the wilderness, the hallway behind, and you and you jump into yeah. the river. Yeah. And it's joy unspeakable. Yeah. You know? Lord, and I remember when I first yeah. came here and gave my testimony and you didn't know I don't you didn't know anything I didn't know about you my at life, all. did you? No, no. And she Somebody prophesied said, yes, over me. Yeah. 
um, and about a change coming and a transition coming. A big one. And yeah. man, I felt it huge in my spirit mm -hmm. because it had been a ministry that I had been a part of for a very long time. And as God trans transitioned, why am I going to talk that word today? It's not just yeah. transitioning me well, out else of that season. Uh -huh. um, it, I was going into the unknown, mm -hmm. but then he opened the doors for far better than what I could hope, think, or imagine in Ephesians yeah. 3.20. Well, and you say you stood in the hallway, and many people yeah. stand in the hallway, yeah. and you know, I've seen this to where people have mm -hmm. said to me over and over, oh, I'm just waiting on God, mm -hmm. you know, I know. Yeah. You know, no. waiting I on God agree. in no. fear. I'm mm -hmm. just praying, I'm just yeah. fasting, I'm just, I'm no. like, no, no, you need to get out there. Right. You know, in transition, the the, the thing that you talked about see when, when God's transitioning you there's nothing now to hold on back no, here that's right. and then there's nothing to hold on here yet because mm -hmm. you haven't arrived there right. you're in transition yes. and in transition mm -hmm. you're saying God what how come where right. are you what's going mm -hmm. on and because you're you're shaking you don't know what's you you haven't arrived anywhere mm -hmm. and you're left here and you're just like Okay, what's happening? God gave me a dream of a big bride, and I've, I, I, I gave this uh, dream. Uh, well, actually, it was kind of an open vision when I was down in Colorado Springs one day. But anyways, here or there, no matter where I was, big, 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 huge bride. I mean, it's cross like the uh, like mm. a globe. I mean, I'm talking huge, and the hand of God, the big hand of God, and He was coming down, and He was holding the bride, and the bride was tilted in the mm. sky. And, uh, and he, he tells me, you know, my bride is feeling tilted. She's feeling exposed. She's feeling like, where am I? What am I doing? And where her, where her uh, beautiful shoe should have been, it was a clump of dirt. I mean, as mm. big as the, I mean, mm. the t t way, as far as you could see, with roots going across as far as you couldn't even see them, with all these little faces on it, wow. which was we, the bride of Christ, going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he said, my bride is in transition. He said, many of them are in transition. And he said, they're crying out, God, where? They feel tilted. They feel yeah. scared. They don't know what their next step is. He says, but I want them to know that I am the one who picked them up, yeah. mm -hmm. plucked them Amen. up, and I will plant them in deep, dark, deep, dark soil mm -hmm. where they belong mm -hmm. and so when we're in those times of transition we do feel exposed we do feel like what are we yeah, doing I, where are we planning yeah. God? I, I don't get it some mm -hmm. of us leave great ministries yeah. and and people that relied on us needed us but that's yep. God's job it's mm -hmm. not ours right and and we have to we have to learn that you, you know you may be in a transition from something that was good you know a lot of times people yeah. look at it like it was some failure you weren't a failure you were in a great ministry God just, we yes doing, yeah yeah you got like he took you out to put you because people yeah. over there, yeah. there was people like when remember what well, uh, when Paul well, said they, they were crying had, out, yes. send, yes. 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 send me. They yes. haven't had a chaplain yes. since twenty twenty. Yes. yes, the prison, and they were crying out. They were somebody. crying out for a and chaplain. And you know what? Yeah. God sent you guys because somebody yes. they heard the cry. See, yes. it's like me. I love the small. I love the small place. Now, why go to a big place? Love it. I don't care if he's 1,000, mm. 10,000, 300. I don't care. But my heart has always been, because here's the deal. Along, and, and my husband and I, we just take off and we'll just go on a tour. Mm. We're just, we're going to start preaching and just, you know. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing, because that little congregation, they can't get some big name. Mm -hmm. and they, right. they, and they, they're crying out for the mm -hmm. same fire of God, the same That's power right. of God. But nobody right. will come. They'll no. say, send me somebody. Mm. I'll go. I'll I got go. that power. I mean, yes. when I go minister, yeah. you go minister. Yeah. The power of God yes. hits. I mean, it's like yeah. great, great, yep. wonderful. And so it doesn't matter if I'm over in a nation or here. God mm -hmm. is faithful, mm. and he touches his people. And there are people crying everywhere mm -hmm. for that. But you you know what the church some of them have gotten so big they're not hearing that cry anymore but God has not shut his ears mm -hmm. and he is calling saying okay Sharon go to that little church over mm -hmm. there with 10 people go to that little church over there with 30 people go to that little church over there with five people. it doesn't matter how many there is they're hungry and they're crying out mm -hmm. and then God everywhere I go I pray that God will add and he's never he's never not done that because we should it says in the Bible the evangelist when he went you know what the church was added to yeah. And everywhere he went, the church was added to. And so when I was in Japan doing one of the revivals, one of the times that I was in Japan, I uh, had left the church. I came in, and there was like six or eight people, and they were just really 
you know, they're just dying on the vine, you know, mm -hmm. because they, you, you, you want everything, you try everything, yeah. and you're just tired, yeah. and you're, you don't feel like nothing's happening. And, and I went in there, and I remember it was Eva Cooney, and I cried out all night mm -hmm. on the, bank, uh, uh, the balcony and, and crying to God, saying, God, save Eva Cooney, touch Eva Cooney. And I, and, and I was led to look up Eva Cooney, mm -hmm. and it was awakening. Wow. wow. There, that, that wow. it meant awakening. Woo. And I'll tell you, there was an awakening when mm -hmm. I was, the things that happened, I, can, I mean, the revival and the things that happened, I was like, yeah, God. Yes. You know, because I hear those things. Yes. And then they right. were happening, and I yes. liked yeah. that, because yeah. it was happening with me, and, and God was using mm -hmm. me to see those things. And so, um, I mean, every time I would say Iwakuni, I mean, it was just like, oh, you know? Wow. The church that wow. I went in, that one church, there was a lot of different ones there, but... Um, Six or eight people, I can't remember exactly, so I can't, you know, I can't quote me. When I left 84, it was added. Because God did a powerful yeah. move of God. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a lot for there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was tons for that little yeah. baby church. But the sad thing is, they didn't stay because you have to. You have to have the you fire have to of God. It. You have to. You have That's to stay right. with That's it. That's right. That's so You can't go fire. back to no. this because mm -mm. people are mm -mm. hungry. Mm -mm. Yeah. And if you have a lot of people leaving your church, look at you. Don't look at them church hopping. Yeah. Don't call yep. them. I had oh, a man of God call the uh, the bride whores from the pulpit because or tell them they're not planted. Yes, they're not planted. And you know why? Because wow. they're only yes. looking for life. Mm -hmm. They're looking yeah. for the anointing. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can't. You yeah. can't. You know judge them for that or make them feel bad mm -hmm. for that because they just don't fit where you are. They right. don't fit. That don't yeah, mean right. that you're this horrible, no. right. terrible yep. person. They just need more. Like me, I can't go sit and listen to a teacher. You better give me somebody swinging off the chandelier, yes. singing yes. off the <laughs> prophetic <laughs> stuff. I mean, that's <laughs> me. Yeah. It's yeah, me, me people dancing yeah, all over, too. flags yeah, flying. Yeah. You know, I'm just, I, <laughs> you get me in some little meeting like yeah. that and I'm like, mm. going to sleep. I'm like, <laughs> slit my throat, <laughs> take me home. You know what I mean? Because, so it's not for everybody. Right. So people got to quit taking everything so personal. I agree. Yeah. I agree. That's mm -hmm. truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember when my husband died. I was 50, 50 years old. Mm -hmm. I was about 10 years in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And um, that was just a very short time ago. Yes. You're, you're very young. <laughs> yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I, I, I was not business oriented, but the Lord mm -hmm. told me, as a matter of fact, I was more shopping oriented yeah. <laughs> and Bible study oriented. Yeah. <laughs> I was really You're good fine. at that. <laughs> but uh, the Lord told me in no uncertain terms that I was supposed to take over my husband's business. Mm -hmm. Well, the business wasn't difficult enough for me to take over the business, but at that period of time, it was losing money. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't because he wasn't a great businessman, but because he had bought a bunch of businesses and he was able to raise the money and take care of it. Well, you talk about a transition mm -hmm. and trusting oh. God. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and I thought, well, okay, so God, oh, yeah. you're going to have mm -hmm. to do wow. everything. And he did. Wow. Because when God calls you, he equips you. That's and right. I, and I remember just mm. one little incident. Uh, there was a man in my business who was a Haman. He wanted to steal Ooh. the business uh -huh. to the point where he took me to court. Mm. And wow. he took me to court. The Hung judge walked in the courtroom, uh, put his gavel on the desk. Nothing was said. Put his gavel on the desk and said, I award this case to this woman. <laughs> and oh. everybody walked out. My, that is way wow. My attorney wow. said, I wish all my cases <laughs> 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 were to God's God. God. glory. Thank you. Jesus. Yeah, because you wow. haven't had enough on your plate. The you. loss of your Jesus. husband and God is for the yeah. widow. And yeah. You have yes, to deal with all of this. And I'm like, <laughs> wow. how dare wow. he go against yes. God's anointed. That's Amen. right. Amen. You, might you know, he wrote my attorney a letter saying, She's breaking my teeth, and that's in the scriptures. That is in the scriptures. Yeah, uh -huh. right in the Psalms. Yes. Wow. I wasn't yeah. doing anything but God. God was. But God. Yes. God. So God. anyway, make a long story short, ran the business for 10 years, sold it at a profit. God is faithful. Yes. He is, he is. faithful. Wow. wow. That's yeah. so, faithful. so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, you know, I, it, I, I just... 
keep thinking like as you all were talking about when um, God delivered the children of Israel out of Egypt mm -hmm. and he made a way, he parted the Red Sea for him, yeah. he mm -hmm. made a way. And yeah. um, at first everything was good, but then there came that time in, in their lives that they didn't like that change. Mm -hmm. they, they wasn't um, comfortable enough, it wasn't what they had expected. Mm -hmm. And what happened was they just kept roaming around that, that same old mountain for 40 years. Yeah. They didn't want to mm -hmm. go forward. Yeah. And a lot of times um, we get stuck because we don't want to move forward. We want to look backwards mm -hmm. yeah. because we like what it was back there mm -hmm. because it was easy, yeah. because it was comfortable, mm -hmm. like you had said. And um, we don't like the change. Mm -hmm. Change isn't fun. It's, it's not anything that we would love um, to have happen all the time, mm -hmm. but change is a process mm -hmm. and we have to um, accept it and move forward. And a lot of times I say this, that we cannot move forward if we're holding on to our past. We, we, can't, right. we can't go into the promised mm -hmm. land. The only reason why the children of Israel was stuck is because they held on to yesterday. Mm -hmm. right. They held That's on right. to yesterday's yep. manna. Yep. They were d just holding on to their past. Mm -hmm. And they was not accepting what God wanted them to do was to change, was yeah. to just follow me. Do what I'm telling you what to do, and you're going to succeed. Yeah. And that's for somebody today. God is saying for you today, yeah. stop looking back. Stop yeah. holding on. Amen. Stop just sitting there being miserable and saying, oh, well, I can't move. I can't do this. I can't do that because of all these problems and all this and that, blah, 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 what the enemy mm -hmm. tells you. You have to just stop looking back and move forward. Mm -hmm. And when you do... When, when you do, yes. God is going to walk mm -hmm. you straight into your true divine right. destiny and yes. purpose. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that it was so much better mm -hmm. than what it was back mm -hmm. there. Yeah. When Amen. you think about yeah. Lot's wife, the same thing you're talking about, you made mm -hmm. me think about her. She had an angel. I'm sorry, but if an angel came to me <laughs> yes. and he's like, hey, I'm going to take you, I'd be like, sure, let's we go, buddy. So. Yes, <laughs> you know? do. Yeah. But she's looking at this divine being, and obviously yeah. they, they knew that they were angels. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there, he's, she's looking at them, and she's longing for the past. Yes. She wants to look mm -hmm. back at yeah, that so wicked no. place, no. Oh my and because yeah. of that, turns into a pillar of salt. Mm -hmm. You know, I just think about that. I'm like, that's how important it is. Like you're saying that if God does bring you out of something, mm -hmm. and you are, mm -hmm. it's not always easy when you're in transition. Mm -hmm. Yes, he brings you out of something, but sometimes you are, oh, okay, sorry. Sometimes you're, in an area and it's not comfortable, it's not immediately gonna be amazing. It's not immediately gonna be um, mm -hmm. roses and rainbows. It could be difficult like the story with the Israelites. Mm -hmm. But if you keep holding on to that faith, you're going to see something so much greater. Like we've said before, you're going to see the promised land, a land of milk and yeah. honey. Yeah. And right. it's promised to you. And God says that no matter what, regardless of how it ends, we know what the Bible says. We know that, I mean, it may be look like, looking like it's getting horrible out there. The world looks like, you know, everything is in ruins. The economy is inflated and all this stuff. But we know how it ends. We know that it's going to get better for us. And we know in the end, especially as Christians, that we win. Yes. We yes. win. Yes. Amen. Right. Amen. If we could just remember that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Who we are in Christ. Because yeah. technically right. we're all in transition right now. We're yeah. in transitioning yeah. from yeah. the earthly realm to our heavenly realm. Right. The Bible <laughs> says that he wants glory us to glory. glory. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know, because yeah, we, we, you know, if we stay, we become stagnant. And, yeah. and the Lord doesn't yeah. want that. Yeah. He wants us to just go higher and higher. And I right. trust me, I wish it was easy. I wish you, the second yeah. you step oh, into yeah, transition, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. there like you yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's Bam, like you like said, it's that grow. No, yeah. it's, well, it's along the way. Mm -hmm. It is, because I journey. remember getting that word and then when the transition happened, it got harder. I didn't have anything in front of me. Yeah. I, I was you still leaving. taking care of dad yeah. and then him pastor and you know and then yeah. there was nothing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and god just yeah. he's like you just keep following after me yeah. and i'll open those doors and that's what it is it's from glory to glory and it's to lift up the name of jesus it yes. is. to draw all men unto him and we all that's sit here about. because of that along yeah. you know it says that it's a little foxes that spoil the vine well along life's journey it's your choices 
that make yeah. the big hole and yeah. then you sit on the platform of that life you know i mean yeah. it's not you just don't just happen no yeah and, and i'm and thankful it doesn't because yeah. then we couldn't relate we to, to people learn. who are going through stuff <laughs> yes yeah. exactly have the relationship with we the lord wouldn't. seriously yeah. uh -huh. we as wouldn't. deep yeah, you know, deep, uh -huh. deep. and every time I get concerned, even about you know uh, my grandkids, and I, I don't really get concerned about them, but sometimes you know, devil say, "What?" And yeah. I go, "God will always remind me, mm -hmm. what did I do for you?" Yeah. Exactly. You know, yeah. I mean, he's got I'm them. Like, you know, he's got them. Mm -hmm. You know, he's yep. got them, and it's just it's just an amazing. And you know, they'll always look at me like. <laughs> We were on the boat, and I was saying, I said, you know, because we were talking about plans and transition and all this, because my grandson's ready to do something. And so I said to him, I said, oh, you can't have that girl or anybody like that, because God's got a perfect girl for you that's godly. And, <laughs> and you know, because Aww, it, it's, it, it's, it's the truth. It it's is the truth. the truth. Because I don't care who comes mm -hmm. in their lives, they're going to have Amen. who God wants them. Amen. And that's if right. they aren't from God, they're going to get out. That's yep. right. Yeah. Amen. And I told him, Mimi's Amen. praying. Mm -hmm. yes. oh, yeah. Watch out. Uh -oh. You know, hey. uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, Mama you, Bear. And yeah, that, Mama that and, Mimi and, and Mimi's and prayers, God yes. hears. Yes. God hears our cries. He does. And uh, uh, they're doing some commotion back there. We're probably going to get two minutes. You know, well, let me say this. You know, God, if you're in transition right now, can I just tell you this? Stop fighting it. Just enjoy the journey. Mm. See, that's yes, the good. problem. People, people just oh, fight it so and good. fight it. So just enjoy yeah. the journey. Love God, yeah. love people. You're going to get to where you did because God's not going to let you go a different way as long as your heart is surrendered to Him. Yeah. You know, and doing the best you can along life's journey, mm -hmm. He counts you perfect <laughs> along the way. You know, He does. We just have to do our best. You know, yeah. not go out there and try to sin and do all these things, you mm -hmm. know. Listen, if you don't know Jesus, ask Him into your life today. Yes. He yeah. died on a cross. He rose again and coming back to take his bride. We want you to go Amen. with us. But you have to ask him. Yes. You have to ask him to Amen. forgive you of your sins. Come into your life. Be the Lord of your life. You know, my good friend uh, Chris McGahan makes these uh, Redental Rafa Nettles. Gosh, they're so and they're very mm -hmm. expensive and they're beautiful so and they're all over. They were at the inauguration for $10,000. Well, here's the deal. They're broken pieces of glass and garbage. And they take it and make these beautiful Redento Raffinettos. Wow. And God wants to make you a beautiful mm -hmm. de, you, uh, uh, Redento Raffinetto. You're broken. Mm. And you can't fix it. Only he can. That's right. And let him do it today for you. And then if you ask him into your life and to forgive you of your sins and be the Lord of your life, ask him to baptize you with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and with fire. You have to have the Holy Spirit and, and your prayer language. Yes. It's a 9 one to God to get through this thing because he'll lead and guide you into all truth. Mm -hmm. He'll move in and through you to do the will of the Father and you just do all kinds of amazing things. Go to our website today, God's View TV Shows, our very own anointing oil, and it's great stuff. Yes, it has that is. little pearl in there and the little Sharon of, a rose of Sharon calf. And the best thing is it helps us keep coming into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we haven't had an order on our website for I don't know how long. And so won't you be one today? Won't, won't you go and get something? If we've been a blessing to you, be a blessing to us. Because it all goes to here. We don't get paid. It all goes None back into the ministry, <laughs> into networks, into operations, and everything. None of us get paid. So with that said, you know, we got to go for today. But mm -hmm. guess what? God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. We love you. It's only goodbye for today. Thanks for joining us. Going around the globe.